What's up guys? Just got out of the shop. Um, got some really awesome books this week. You know, super awesome books this week. I can't wait to show you. I'm going to run through these kind of quick, quicker than usual, and uh, and we'll see what happens. But first, we have Trillium number one. It's a flip book. We got this cover and then also this side. Jeff Lemire doing both the writing and the artwork on the interior. His, uh, his art style is very unique, and it's an art style that I enjoy quite a bit. I'm trying to find you guys a cool page here. Definitely not your typical run-of-the-mill stuff, but um, I think this is a series that's worth checking out. I've been hearing good things about the first issue, so, um, so I'm hopeful. I mean, I've been anticipating that book for like six months, so it better be good. Next, we have Abe Sapien, number five. Uh, Abe's on the run from the BPRD, being a badass all by himself. The interior artwork in this book is is cool, and also uh, the story's been has been interesting. Abe's my favorite BPRD character, so of course I'm going to pick this up. But uh, definitely worth checking out. It's only on issue five if you're looking to catch up. And the story's been uh, been very very interesting. And then finally, as far as independents go, we have Helheim number six, Colin Bond and Joel Jones wrapping up the first mini series. Uh, we've been led to believe that there are going to be more miniseries with Ricard in them, which is badass. The interior artwork in this book, I cannot... I feel like I talk about how awesome the artwork is in all of these books, but um, this one especially, Joelle Jones is, you know, so awesome. And her covers for these books are amazing. I would like to get her, get some signatures on some of these uh, Helheim covers. I think that'd be really awesome. But I cannot wait to finish this. Uh, I just slipped to the last page on accident. God damn it. Spoiling it for myself. I cannot wait to uh, to finish that book, you know, wrap up this miniseries and also read, you know, whatever Colin Bunn and Joel Jones have in store for us in the future. And then moving on to DC. No Marvel this week, but that's okay. We have uh, Phantom Stranger number 11, Trinity War tie-in. I don't like the artwork on the cover, but the uh, art on the inside is different. I've been loving Phantom Stranger since issue 8, I want to say. And also, uh, I liked the first Trinity War tie-in, which was Constantine. I wasn't crazy about Pandora last week. So, let's hope that Phantom Stranger gets it back on track. Next, we have Robert Vendetti's Green Lantern, number 23. Hal seems to be getting his ass kicked. I didn't expect to love number 21 and 22 as much as I did, so I'm glad that I'm I am now picking up this book. Those the story in those books were pretty awesome and oh, the artwork in this book looks awesome. Anyway, um number 24 I think starts the uh, after villains month starts the um the Lights Out, which is uh, like a one month overall of the Green Lantern books, which kind of pisses me off. That's why I never got into this book to start with, because I don't want to pick up a bunch of other books. Um, but I'll probably just pick up that issue of Green Lantern, just not read it, and then continue on after that. Hopefully they don't continue tying in with stuff. Next we have Green Arrow number 23. I think this cover is really awesome. It's different than all the other covers that have come out, because I feel like Green was more of a focus. I mean, he's Green Arrow. Green was more of a focus than the other covers that have come out. And his, uh, his. This is more of the color palette on the inside of the book, which, uh, which I love. Andreas Sorrentino doing a badass job on the artwork, and also Jeff Lemire, uh, killing the story. Number twenty-two had a really awesome, uh, really awesome ending, and it it went a, a direction that I didn't expect it to go. So I cannot wait for number twenty-three. And finally. You guys all know how much I love my Swamp Thing. This is number 23. I kind of hate this cover. I don't like how Constantine is drawn. But uh, but anyway, this is the wrap-up to the Whiskey Tree storyline, which was um, which was really awesome. Charles Soule has been doing a uh, fantastic job. I would say it's even improved since Jeff or since uh, Scott Snyder was uh, was off the book. Um, it's been more of like a one or two, like two, one, two, three issue story arcs, nothing giant like, like Rot World was. And I think that's, that's a good idea, at least for Swamp Thing right now. I think people maybe are a little burnt out on, um, after Rot World took place. So Charles Sewell's doing a, doing a good job. He's doing the right thing. And, uh, and yeah, that's that. I want to say a big thanks to everybody who's watching my video and also anybody who has, uh, subscribed to me. I feel like I've been you know shooting up in subscribers lately which is awesome 
Anybody who comments on my videos, likes my videos, big thanks to you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys, you guys have no idea how much all the support means, and um, and yeah, big. Also, big thanks to anybody who watched the live show last night. I feel like it was uh, especially successful with answering you guys' questions and stuff. We had a lot of fun. I think we're, we're, we want to continue doing that maybe this upcoming week. So if you have any more questions, it doesn't have to be comic book related, personal life, whatever. Uh, whatever you want to ask, uh, go ahead and ask. Leave it on the live show last week in the comments or leave it here. Send any of us a PM. Um, you know what to do. Any of those um, will work, and we'll, uh, we'll try and answer your questions next week. But thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.